In this video, we'll be looking at the structure and function of the plasma membrane. Let's get to it. First, let's look at the structure of the plasma membrane. As you can see, the main component of the plasma membrane is this red color circle that looks like a pin. This is known as the phospholipid. Let's take a closer look at this phospholipid. The phospholipid is actually made of two components, that is, it has a head. The head of the phospholipid is known as the polar head. The head is hydrophilic in nature, which means it attracts water. And of course, we have the tail. The tail is known as the non-polar tail. It is hydrophobic, meaning that it repels water. The phospholipid forms two layers, as we can see here. We have two rows of phospholipids, and therefore, this is known as the phospholipid because two layers are formed, it is known as a bilayer. This is known as the phospholipid bilayer. Within the phospholipid bilayer, we can see several components. Let's start with this purple color substance. This is carbohydrate. And when carbohydrate is combined with the phospholipid, as we can see here, this is known as the glyco, glyco for the carbohydrate part, lipid lipid for the phospholipid part this is a glycolipid and here we can see the carbohydrate is combined with another substance this yellow color or orange color substance is similar you can see three of them here we have one here this one as well as this one these are proteins and this protein in particular you can see there is a channel in the middle there's a space in the middle to allow substances to move across in and out and therefore, this is known as the channel protein, since it has a channel to allow substances to move in and out. And on the right here, you can see one end is closed. This protein is known as the carrier protein. This is because it carries substances across the plasma membrane. But that is for another video. And then when you see this one here, where the protein is combined together with the carbohydrate, this is known as glyco for the carbohydrate part protein glycoprotein we have one more substance here this substance that is wedged between the phospholipids this is actually cholesterol and so these are all the components that form the plasma membrane now let's go on to discuss the function of each component in the plasma membrane first let's start with the most abundant component the phospholipid the function of the phospholipid is to form a barrier to separate the internal and external environments of the cell. The function of cholesterol is to make the phospholipid bilayer stronger and more flexible. The channel protein is to allow certain substances to move across the plasma membrane. The carrier protein is also to allow substances to move across, but this is by active transport. Again, I will cover this in a separate video. Glycoproteins and glycolipids together, they have several functions. They act as hormone receptors, they stabilize the plasma membrane, and they also act as antigens. This is the function of the plasma membrane. 